I'm going to show you how to find the exact point for locating underground water. See, this is a type of V-shaped rod which is used for water divining. Okay, this is a copper rod. Like this, we are having many types of things. Okay, either you can use a copper rod of various thickness or a wire or you can use a forked stick or a rod metal rod okay the difference between these things are okay when we see that this is the better one which shows the water position okay but when you go around places you won't get a forked stick okay that is why we are going for metal rods so we have to choose a metal rod in such a way that which is flexible and which can be used rather quite easily okay when we see this metal rod see the force of this is very high such that you have to use it very carefully okay and when we take a wire rod this is very slow okay the method is very slow that is why we go for a copper rod okay so while we are using a copper rod we should see that we should find the exact location of points see we are having the exact location let us take this as the first point and here you will be getting two consecutive points and this is the third point okay i'll explain how to find the exact point of location by a diagram See, when we take a magnet, there are lines of forces, when we see that, there are lines of forces, which more more. Let us take this as point 1, this as 2, this as 3 and this as 4, okay. In the same way, when water runs at a point and which is behind rock, this has a force of magnetic action lines of force which has also the same type of forces which this is the water this is the lines of forces okay. this is first point this second point third point and fourth point okay when we see this one as this as the water and this as the lines of force this two and three are the points where you have to locate this water at the middle of this two and three this is the point which is far behind and this is the point which has gone outside okay so when we see that we have to look we will be getting four points for a certain water level which has to be taken that one will be in a certain distance two and three will be at the center of the location where you will be having more amount of flux lines and this is the fourth one okay i'll show it in reality see when we see this one well we can see that this is the fourth point or let us consider this as the first point and when we move a little abroad we are getting the second point at a certain distance itself you are getting the third point and we are going outside you are getting the fourth point okay this shows the magnetic lines of force where again i'll say that this is the first point and the second and third point are very near and the fourth point okay so you have to locate the water exactly near in center of the second and third point so we are seeing that when we take it into consideration this is your second point and this is your third point and here this is your first second and this is your third point you have to locate a point which is at the middle of the second and third point to get the better result